just showing you exactly how to make that costume. Everything you see here is what you need. If you want the full list of items, check out the description below. This video is sponsored by Primary.com. Primary.com is our go-to place to get clothing just like this. But for this costume, you're gonna need two sets of these brown pajamas. This is basically the shape that you're gonna go for for the bodysuit. Their height, um, and so we measured from just the, the base of their neck to their mid-thigh. You're gonna wanna measure your kiddo's waist and then divide it by two and then add three inches. A rectangular piece. Waist is 22 inches, so we're gonna divide that by two, and that's 11, and then we're gonna add three. So we're gonna get 14. So we're gonna cut it here. Make sure that when you're cutting this part, you're on the fold. This will prevent you from having to do a shoulder seam. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on curving the edges in. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and we're gonna sew along these edges here and right here. This is what the suit looks like after you've sewn it. This is to allow the kiddos to get in and out of the costume. Now what you're going to do is decide which one is going to be the head or the front slinky because you need to make a collar for that slinky. Is I'll just fold it over. For the slinky coil portion of this costume, we just ordered this giant slinky from Amazon, and we used about, I think it's about 12 coils, and then we add one more coil on each side to attach to the costumes. We just wrap it in gray fabric to give it the metallic look, and then I'm gonna cut strips out to be three inches by 44 inches. Just pin them in half just like this and then you're just going to sew the seam it's going to flip this inside out so the seam is on the inside so it can give your slinky a nice more finished look just use a wooden dowel to help you turn your tubes inside out and there is nice right side out you're going to do about 12 to 14 coils you're going to need um, seven tubes that are in this dimension. You can go ahead and cut your slinky to the length that you want. We ended up using pipe cutters to cut ours. All you need to do is slide your coil along, or your tube along your slinky, and then we're just gonna hot glue it on. So I'm just gonna cut the excess off and use this to create Slinky's tail. Okay, the next step we're gonna do is we are going to make the Slinky hat that the child in front will be wearing. So measure the circumference of your child's head. So just cut that in half and you're gonna measure a dome that's whatever your circumference is and then I go I went about six inches up and you're going to cut out this shape but you're gonna cut it out two times so make sure you have enough cut around the line and then sew on the line I just finished sewing the hat together all we have to do is attach the ears now so all I did was cut out two they're like teardrop shaped pieces of brown felt to be the ears Let's go ahead and flip your hat right side out so the seam is on the inside. And then all I'm gonna do is cut a slit here and cut a slit here and glue my ears in.
And your hat is all done. So this is the collar on, um, and then it's just cut on the back there so you can still get in. To attach this slinky, you'll just stick one full loop just in that slot there. For the back, we actually do just a small hole, reinforce the edges there, um, just so as you're putting the slinky in and out, it doesn't tear into a bigger hole. What we do to stuff the slinkies is we just do four small pillows like this. It's easiest to put the two pillows in first. It's two for each bodysuit. So one will go in front of the child and one goes behind. The final step for this costume is just to make the tail to attach to the back of the slinky dog. So we just got some craft wire and I cut it 18 inches long. I'm gonna slide this wire inside my leftover tubing from the slinky coil. We just put this at the tip. Just cut out two little brown teardrop shapes, the same color as Slinky's ears. And then to attach it to the Slinky Dog Puff Suit, just cut out two circles that are the same color as the felt that we used on the puff suits, and then cut a slit in one of the circles. Then bend your coil a little bit. And then we're gonna add some Velcro to the back of this circle and to the back of the puff suit. I'm gonna use the spiky side, the rougher side of the Velcro on the back of the tail, just so you can move it up and down on the suit because this will stick to the felt. Make sure you're attaching it to the back side of the back suit. It is all done. If you'd like to see exactly how you can attach the kids and put the Slinky Dog costume on, because there are a few tips and tricks that we learned, I'll link that video right here. So go ahead and click on that. If you found this video useful, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you subscribe for more fun costumes, DIYs, and adventures in Disneyland. Also, if you do create this costume, we love to see your creations. So go ahead and tag us on Instagram at Toy Story Dad. If you have any questions while making this costume, don't hesitate to ask your questions in the comments below or shoot us an email. We'll be happy to help. Thanks so much and have a great day.